hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Eno in today's video we'll be looking at the uh, process of connecting our Kali Linux virtual machine that's running on VMware workstation to our wireless or Wi-Fi network so the first thing we'll need to do is to make some system-wide uh, USB settings changes and that and this is something we'll be doing by going to the edit tab right here or menu and then clicking on the preferences and then under one once we have this preferences window pop up we'll look for an option that says usb right here and then under connections we have three options that can be selected when a new usb device is detected so we'll tell our vmware workstation what what needs to be done so we can go with the first option which is ask me what to do there's also the two other options but well, we're going with the first option so once you have that select selected click on OK. Now the, the next setting that we need to, to change or to check is one to do with a specific virtual machine. In this case, it's gonna be your, a Kali Linux virtual machine. We'll click on it and right click on it and go to the settings. Under settings and then under the hardware tab, we wanna ensure that there's a device, hardware device named USB controller. If we don't have one of these, we'll need to add a new one and select it and add it but in our case since we already have that device it's grayed out we can't add another one we can only have one at a time so we'll cancel this and then under connections you can select the usb type you want to you want to be using you have op uh, options for usb 2.0 3.1 and 1.1 also you can say show all usb input devices so you want to at least make sure this one is checked and then if you want to share Bluetooth devices, you can check this box also. In our case, they're all checked. We can click OK. Now that we have the settings configured, we'll boot up our Kali Linux machine. So we'll come back once the machine is uh, done booting up. So just right click on it, power, start up the guest. Okay, now we have the login prompt. We'll put in our username and password. Okay, the machine is done booting up. What we'll do is I'll go ahead and plug in my uh, wireless adapter, which is a USB based one, and then we'll see what happens. As you can see here, there's a pop-up window that's asking us to choose what we want, whether we want to connect to uh, this USB device. You can connect it to the host, or you can connect it to the virtual machine, which is right here. We we'll select that and click OK. And then, and then it's telling us that that device is going to be connected to the virtual machine. So we'll click OK. Now, as you can see here, it's, it's spinning. It's trying to find uh, the Wi-Fi uh, networks available. So if I click on this here, it looks like it's already found a Wi-Fi network. Now, there's uh, various ways we can check and verify whether we are connected to a, a wireless network. If it's your first time, obviously you might need to put in a password. You might have to search and put in a password, but I already, I already have all that set up. So I'll just open a terminal here. And then once I'm in the terminal, I'll use a command to check if I pulled an IP address on the Wi-Fi or wireless network, which is this one right here. And I have an IP from that network. We can also check which USB devices we are connected to. Command is LS USB. And this is the USB device that we connected to. Also, when we when we are talking about Wi-Fi, there's another command we can use to get more details on our wireless network, which is iwconfig. And this one right here is going to give you more details, the name of your Wi-Fi, and then it's going to give you the signal strength. It's also going to give you the MAC address of your access point. Uh, the speed and so on so one other way to actually connect once you have your device powered up there's another way for us to connect to a usb device or to disconnect from a usb device so if you close this terminal and go to vm then removable removable devices and then whatever the name of your usb device is you can see here I have an option of disconnect because I already connected to it. I can disconnect. And as you can see, I don't have Wi-Fi connectivity anymore. 
I could also use the same option to connect to the Wi-Fi uh, device by going to VM, removable devices. I know what it's called, it's right here. And now I'm seeing connect option, I can connect to it. A message popped up telling me that, that the virtual machine is gonna connect to this USB device. Click on okay, and then we'll wait. And again, we have Wi-Fi connectivity. And if you click on it, you can see Wi-Fi networks that are available to us. So it's listing all that's available. So that's it for this video. That's how you connect your Kali Linux machine to your wireless or your Wi-Fi network. I hope this information has been useful. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.